Beautiful. Okay. So what were you experiencing before Recover and Rise? And made you want to move through the program? <laughs> so starting Recover and Rise, I think I was coming out of this really deep healing uh, season of my life because I had just came out of the doing the spiral with you. Uh, so I was really in a place of like feeling very vulnerable and um, feeling like I needed that extra support uh, after finishing recover and uh, after finishing the spiral. So that's where I was at starting uh, for sure. And then I met incredible people when we started actually doing the calls and uh, I felt so held and supported and really I felt able to be my authentic self, which was something that, like, as you know, going through the spiral was something that I, I, I had struggled with. And, and I see that I saw that doing that through recover and rise also allowed me to, to do that in my real life. And it's crazy because I had like in November, I had started uh, working at my current job at a bar and I was super shy and then I was going through all this healing and then there was a lockdown so I wasn't seeing anyone and I was going through this huge transformation and releasing so much stuff and then going through recover and rise I was really able to rebuild that kind of confidence and authenticity that I have been meaning to create in my life and now at the bar like I'm so not the same person. People are like, people are telling me like, I didn't know you had that in you. Like, I'm like, right? I knew it all along and it's been wanting to come out. And now it, it can, it can because I'm not really, my mind isn't at the same space anymore where before I was worrying about how I looked, how what I say appeared to other people, my reputation, how other people could relate to me, how nice I was, how friendly I was, etc. And now I'm just fully myself. And honestly, my relationships with the people I work with, with the clients, with my bosses, with my colleagues, have just fully blossomed into the most beautiful things ever. Like I'm just so happy. Uh, with where I am right now and even with uh, in regards to money I think I had a, a lot of this like lack mindset before uh, going into the spiral and then recover and rise and then a lot of the tools were like oh okay so I can look at money this way instead and like I just deposited a thousand and three hundred dollars in my bank account today <laughs> like what and I only work three days a week like that's crazy and that was just from one week of working like three days of working so like a lot of the manifestation blocks that I had have been completely transformed and I'm just feeling really good like of course there are some moments where I'm not feeling the best and that's normal right there's a, a flow to life so uh, so I always have the recover and rise tools as well to fall back upon. Like when I see some fears coming up, when I fear, when I have some doubts, uh, when I see myself becoming a bit addicted or depending on things too much, like for example, social media or, um, food, food's a big one, but always having those tools in my back pocket has really helped me like be a self-sufficient person moving forward and like not always having uh not always needing that support because i i can support myself yeah <laughs> massive <laughs> massive <laughs> so incredible and so while you were moving through it what was like the biggest um breakthrough moment that you had if you were to choose like one or two um I think is my ability to be vulnerable. It was like one of the biggest ones for me uh, because I wouldn't allow myself to be seen by other people, not truly. Like I knew there was all of those things inside of me that were amazing. Like for example, whoever knows what Coyote Ugly is, 
like dancing on the bars and stuff like that. Like I dreamt of doing that. And I was able to do that because for me, that was such a vulnerable moment, like to, to let my inner aspirations shine through, I guess, like, and, and fully be seen by other people. Like you can't be more seen than when you're dancing on a bar, right? Everybody's looking at you. Yeah, I love but it. Like, but that, but it's kind, but it's related to the fact that I was able to allow myself to be seen through Recover and Rise in the group. I felt just the most authentic love and unconditional love of just simply being. I felt connected to the to wholeness, to the wholeness of what life is all about, and. Um, that fully translated into my entire life. So that was definitely the biggest thing for me. Amazing. And what do you now see as possible since we've been through it and with all the tools that you now have? Um, definitely more manifesting. <laughs> oh, also back to the second question. <clears throat> In regards to love, I had a lot of issues around like receiving love uh whether uh in friendships or in romantic ways like and I I'm really seeing that shift I know there's still some work to do there because but like if I compare myself to how I started and where I am now like I can I can see the progress so moving forward I definitely believe that that's something that I'll be uh continuously working on as well manifesting more really like leaving that lack mentality behind and allowing myself to to feel the whole abundance that this life has to offer me and everyone else and like allowing myself to be abundant with other people because like just hiding myself before wasn't doing anybody good any 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 good <laughs> and now that I'm actually allowing myself to shine I, I like people are like oh my god like thank you so much for being there for me I'm able to be there for people in my fullness and that's just so incredible because I was there for other people but not completely like not as myself so there's definitely that shift um moving forward as well I think um aligning my energy to to what feels right um what i feel like doing in regards to business in regards to my social activities like really accepting the season of life that i am in like for example right now i need to rest because april was crazy super social super busy with uh, business and Taurus season is my friend for sleep <laughs> It's encouraging me to sleep more, rest more, and release control of like always being go, go, go. Uh, because my fire energy was like, you need to do this, you need to do that. But uh, yeah, it's two, two, two. <laughs> Is it? Wow. <laughs> Amazing. That's so great. Anything else you want to share? Anything else you now see as possible? Um connecting as well with the people through recover and rise still like i'm still uh speaking with some people that were in the group so and and seeing some like maybe possibly networking opportunities because you never know who you're gonna meet right and i i feel like everyone who was in this program was absolutely amazing and wonderful and so loving and kind yeah. And so yeah definitely that's something uh, a bonus that came with this Mm -hmm. amazing well thank you so much for sharing Kilana and no I'm so grateful that you like you went through it and that you had such incredible results with both the spiral and recover and rise yeah but it's honestly just been a pleasure getting to to see you and just allow you to just see you go out there and thrive and just be your authentic self because you have so much to offer the world like you are just so bright and so amazing and I'm just so excited that you're allowing the world to see you thank you thank you so much <laughs>